Hello and welcome to a new episode. So this one's a bit different because my Annie is gonna get one hell of a makeover. Now, how do I explain this? So every now and again, once in a person's life, something happens that shocks you to the core, basically. Right, so the bit that you just watched, hello everybody, this is a future me, um, kind of took a turn when I got to the place, so it wouldn't have made sense. I thought I'd have to, you know, explain a little bit. Basically, what's happened is, is when I got there and he went all over the work, he messaged me on the evening saying that he's going to do a full respray because Annie was going to, only going to have certain panels fixed and sprayed, but he has kindly offered to do the full respray so this is why i'm telling you now and not before because it wouldn't have made sense which is i can't i can't um i honestly can't thank him enough so i will put the link to his his instagram up here and i will put it also put it in the des description below but please i beg you please go and check him out because what we're going to do we've, we've we've agreed to um every now and again uh, raffle off free resprays so that will be coming onto the channel uh and plus various other things now all i want all i ask my audience to do is go and check him out yeah his instagram name is polish perfection polish mate i know you're gonna watch this yeah but did you have to name it such a tongue twister because i get so confused <laughs> it's the three p's polished i'm gonna have a look hold on i'm sorry polished perfection performance so check out polished perfection performance it's a tongue twister anyway the name will be up here and it will also be uh, below so yes go check out my brother he's 100 so this is what i mean i can't thank you thank this geezer enough he does all sorts of charity work he does uh, discounts for the military mi military personnel he, he just wants to give back and this is why you i urge you i urge you to go over to it but yes. I'm sorry, but I'm melting here. I urge you to go and check his, his, his Instagram out. Uh, and also, another thing, he's let me go look around his workshop, which is also amazing. So obviously, you've seen the thumbnail, so you see what's what's going to happen. So basically, what we're going to do is close the door again. It's raining. What we're going to do, we're going to go to this place where my Annie is, and then we're going to go to a car boot for motorcycle parts, and we're going to have a walk around there. There's some cool car there, cars there too, and then we're going to go to another location where I found a couple of abandoned cars. So it's, it's a bit of a mixed uh, video today, but I like it like that because it's always entertaining for me and entertaining for you, and it gives you something to watch as opposed to just doing one location. So I will see you in a second, and uh, yeah, thank you for watching. Scared because of me alloys, me alloys. Annie in the middle of the uh, <laughs> the main road where people have to get past. <laughs> right then, so yeah, he's got some nice toys in here. You're going to be pleasantly surprised. Pleasantly surprised. The first thing is this. Look at that. <laughs> wow. Now, if I was going to have a car, I'd have this Datsun. One million percent. But look at the wheels on it. I mean, look at the size of those. What size are those? Jesus Christ. That's some proper size wheels. I mean, look at that. These cars are fetching absolutely stupid money. The mileage on this is we can't see. But these are fetching stupid money. And on top of that, we've got a Mark 1 MR2. I mean, some of this work underneath here that needs doing. Someone's took the engine out. <laughs> but yeah, she's a, she's a bit rotten, a little bit rotten. Definitely in need of 
some love. And my man's gonna do it, look at that. Jesus. Definitely got his work cut out on this one. She, she actually makes uh, Mabel look good. <laughs> Jesus, look at that. Aerodynamics. Fucking hell. But yeah, this Datsun is something else. Proper old school. Proper old school. Let's have a sneak peek at the engine. Safe to say that the engine don't need no work. She is beautiful. Well then the next thing is this P1 over here. Ben says that this has actually been sat here, well not sat here, he's only had it in, 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 in his garage for about four months, but it's been sat in this condition for 10 years. He's had the engine bay sprayed at some point. For the rest of it, it's been sat for 10 years. A P1, P1. <laughs> oh, another car I can only dream of owning. Oh, she's a bit, she's a bit crusty. Oh. Subaru. P1, ladies and gentlemen, a P1. Not often you get the chance to record things like this. I mean, this thing's gorgeous. A couple of on that there. And he guess what these wings are off, what these wings and doors are off. This is his Metro. MG Metty. What's the mileage on this old girl? The mileage is 75,000, can you see that? 75k, unreal. She's definitely in need of uh, fixtures and fittings. 1300. <laughs> I love this colour. It's a nice colour this is for this uh, MG. Really nice colour. It's like a, it's like a, it's almost black. Like a BMW crushed Swartz sort of colour. But yes, like I say, hopefully soon Andy will be how I want her, how I want, how we want her. Perfect. Hey, so we've got this little Corsa. I don't know if this is his car, but look at that rubbish. Jesus. There's nowhere to bloody room move. Christ. That's what you call rubbish. Gotta love a little Corsa. So what's happened to that? That's gone a bit squiffy in it, it's a bit bent. Little Corsa. Oh look at the ammo. That ammo is super. <laughs> Flames. <laughs> Might do that there, look. You know what I mean, man? It's a bit of all sorts, that's all I've got. Definitely not spark. Damn, they do all time. Oh, brand new. From new, they do it. It's isn't it? It's old, isn't it? I mean, I was registered. <laughs> That is a nice bike. Isn't it? Yeah. You're brand new flyer, mate. Like Look at this. How much for the whole lot? <laughs> That's quite good, isn't it? Yeah. Can we No, you can't. Because <laughs> the, 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 the plates, the, 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 the black ones. Yeah, so I'll have the whole lot, yeah. And the trailer. Which good. I'll give you a deposit now, but we're yeah, back for this. Stage, yeah. Cheers, buddy. Do I buy something off me? 
Perfect. Sorted. <laughs> I just keep walking past me, just so I can't hit nothing. <laughs> oh. Oh, nice. Bit squeaky. <laughs> Sorry, dude. She's mint. Whose is this? Yours? Your mate is a legend, absolute legend. Very, very clean. Have you seen that escort? Jesus Christ. <laughs> well, then we're at a bit of a car show. I come with my mate to. Um... Well, it's not a car show, but they sell bike parts, but it's like a car boot. And basically, I bought this. <laughs> So trying a bit something a bit different on the channel now. We're gonna look at these cars while my mate goes on a bit of a wonder and uh, yeah, try and make some different content that's not abandoned cars because it's getting quite scarce. So we'll have a look at these cars and then uh, yeah, see what's what. Little Peugeot. seats in better days jesus but look how nice those carpets are proper clean <laughs> pina farini so it's since we famous just we have i didn't even ask for an autograph or nothing but you know it's one of those i suppose i was show i was uh fame shocked <laughs> nice little fiesta well, that's really clean Beautiful little Fiesta. My first, my ever, ever first legal car was uh, exactly the same as this, but obviously a newer model and the same colour too. No wing mirror. Look how clean she is. Wow. Absolutely beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. See, so yeah, I bought this an old 90 radio flyer with loads of registration plates. Should have come with some more money. Nice Volvo. Old Morris. This Morris is pretty good. Nice Morris. Old Mark 1 Ford Escort. She's a bit rusty, but she's nice. Absolutely beautiful. Very nice, very, very nice indeed. Kind of lost me, mates. They've vanished. How beautiful is this old Capri? Unmolested Ford Escort, Mark 1, 1300L. She's nice. Old tow bar, absolutely unmolested. She's 
she's for sale. Six and a half grand. That's nice, that is. Not a bad price either, really. How clean those wheels are. Jesus. She's a minter. Super rare. Oh, buddy. <laughs> I love how you just drive around this round like it's just an everyday car. It's fucking brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Use it anytime I can. That's why a car should be enjoyed, not just posed. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it is, it's a lovely example, but if it was like pristine concourse, you wouldn't want to drive it, would you probably? Well, it's saying that on the way up, it's like saying, making an old car look like a new car just seems pointless. Because you, you, limit, you limit the use of it. You've kept the aesthetics. Kept, they'd have yeah. tried to not to get too crazy with yeah, the like, polish and, and stuff. It's a lovely car. Yeah. Cheers. See you later. Have a good day. Nearly. God, look at that. Gorgeous. Old knock on wheels. Trust me to get the most squeakiest uh, trailer. Try and catch up with the lads now because they've uh, left me. <laughs> oh, Mini. Another really cool Mini. Peugeot Sport. So I had somebody recognise me, which is pretty cool. Um, pretty awesome. This Escort though. Ha <laughs> ha. I tried buying a, uh, a 90. Oh, they're nice bags. Really clean, aren't they? Tap a tracksuit. Let's see one at a time. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, we got one now. Has he got that ass backwards? <laughs> so it hasn't been that bad, to be fair. I'm annoying people with my trolley, though. Driving people, I'm just stopping every now and again to give um, give people's ears a rest. I think I've lost several along the way. People are following me, just yeah. picking them up. <laughs> so I hope you like what you saw so far on this uh, video. I'm going to try and do more of these as I, as I can. But if you're interested in anything that I bought, I'm going to create an eBay account. So these like I can buy some. <laughs> so again, hope you like this uh, new bit of footage. So from me, Stokesy, nothing but love and respect. Stokesy out, peace. Right then, the uh, the purchases. So basically, you've been you've watched what I've uh, what I've been up to, and now you're going to watch uh, the purchase side of it. <laughs> what I've bought, basically. Uh, I'm starting a new venture on this channel. What I'm going to do is, can you even see me very well? Is that better? Is that enough room? So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to these kind of car booth places and see what I can buy and then obviously show you what I bought and then sell them for a profit. 
the Honda, the Honda's uh, been sold. I bought that for £600. I sold it for £1,000, made £400. So now £600 put back to the kitty and £400 profit is put into the, the profit box. From that £400, I spent £150 on the trailer and the registration plates, as you've seen in the video. I also bought a steering wheel off my friend, old classic Cortina steering wheel off my friend for £50. So that's £200. So the plan is from the £400 I made off the Honda, I'm going to try and turn that into £1,000. And then from that, I'm going to turn that £1,000 into something else so we're going to work our way up and uh, try and earn enough money by buying and selling these things to buy a car that i promised to give away for my 20,000 subscriber and that is going to happen it's still going to happen it's still i, I still have, i'm a man of my word and that's going to happen so this is what i'm going to try and do because i'm not a rich man i can't you know most cars cheap cars of today are over a thousand quid and obviously if i'm giving the car away it's got to be right because if it's going to go to a anybody really it has to be right i mean i'm not going to give a car away that is substandard and it's dangerous it's going to be a legit decent quality car i don't have the funds to just blow a thousand pound on a free car this is my plan of action uh the reason i sold the honda so cheaply in my opinion was because it, it had it had too many problems the, the the things that needed doing far exceeded my capability i want willing to spend that much money on it glad i rescued it the person that's bought it uh, i don't know what he's going to do with it he says he's going to restore it but i don't know it's one of those so yes so uh the purchases can you see me right then the purchases <laughs> So first of all, a really cool Cortina. I'll show you. Really cool Cortina steering wheel. Now, I have had it apart. I have cleaned it all. I gave it a good polish with a bit of wire wool, as you do. So I've gave a bit of shine back to it. All these nuts here were quite uh, rusted. I've uh, gave this a bit of a polish too. Only sympathetically, nothing major. If you're interested in this, let me know. Not too sure what it's off though. I don't know if it's off a 1600E or a GT or anything because most of them were leather steering wheels and this is wooden. So I don't know. Tell me your thoughts on this and if you're interested in it. There's that. The next thing is, is all these registrations. These American California registrations. Uh, I have a lot of them. An awful lot of them. Um, you know, even the older stainless surrounds. Motorbike ones you know as you do i've had hundreds and hundreds of uh, american registration plates over the years these these type of Amer american plates are really really cool because they're really well patinaed this is my favorite one this one here you can see daylight through it this one is my favorite one now a lot of people want the pristine pristine uh, registration plates but i love these old vintage ones the ones that's got character because these here are the best ones i think so all these that's a 63 one. All these are... Okay, this uh, Washington DC one is kind of uh, battered, but I think it adds to the character. And I wouldn't want to buy a nice shiny one. Like, uh, this one, for example. This is a UK plate. This is uh, one of my own ones that I chucked in there just for a reference. But this is just too, too clean and just, you know, boring. So... We have this too, this uh, 1966 Mustang. Oh, this is Ali, this is so... I think it's Ali that came with it too. We have heaps of... Motorcycle registration plates. So yeah, some have got damage, but most of them are pretty, pretty decent. That's a cool one. All these registrations, five pound each, and I think about three pound post in the packaging. So if you're interested in any of these, let me know. I have a lot of them. So this classic Radio Flyer. 90. She's very, very well patinaed and uh, in my opinion, probably the best looking one so far that I've uh, come across. Uh, obviously originally red. The inside's lovely too. So I don't know what I'm going to do with this. I don't know whether I'm going to leave it as is, um, linseed, oil it or get it uh, lacquered to bring it that, that you know, the uh, age of it. Or leave it as it is. I've seen these go on eBay from anything from £90 up to £400. There's one on eBay right now for 300 and something pounds and is in a lot worse state than this. But if you're interested in this radio flyer let me know in the comments below and uh, yeah it could be yours so basically you've seen you've seen what we bought and this is what i'm going to try and bring to the channel too with the cars and with various other things that i could find to all the new subscribers thank you for subscribing to all the old subscribers thank you so much for uh, keeping with my channel um i know it's been hard <laughs> and uh, to all the ones that's watching my channel that haven't subscribed please subscribe uh, it helps me out heaps so basically we had 600 pound for the uh the, the the purchase of the honda sold the honda for i actually sold it for more than a thousand pound but you know there were some mishaps and i i took a bit of money off of the person out of a good gesture so he can get the car home 
we would have made more. At the end of the day, I lost interest in the Honda. I could have got a lot more for it if I broke it. I could have got a lot more for it if I just sat on it. As I'm not in the business of sitting on things, uh, I just wanted it gone because it was just doing my head in. So I apologise to all you diehard Honda Japanese JDM fans that were hoping that I would build the Honda. At the end of the day, that would have cost me in excess of easily two, three grand to get to a decent on the road running, running happy vehicle with the paint and all that sort of stuff. And quite frankly, you know, I didn't want to have that type of stress because things do stress me out. So anyway, moving forward. This is a new venture that I'm going to try to do. If you're interested in anything that I've bought, just uh, send me a message on Instagram, uh, I'm Stokesy underscore KDM, or just put a comment in the section below and I will read it and then we can go from there. So, £1,000 for the Honda, uh, six, uh, uh, £400 profit. This costs £50. The, the radio flyer and the registrations cost £150. That's £200. We've got £200 left to play with. So, we're going to try and buy something else. But obviously, I need to sell these to keep making a profit so we can uh, reach that target of £1,000 to... Um, buy a car to give away I, I promise you i am a, a, a genuine person and i will give a car away just right now if you haven't already felt the pinch you know prices are ridiculous for everything so this is why i'm trying to do it this way so yes uh, wrap this video up now so uh, i hope you enjoyed it so far i hope you like what we've done in this video that escort though mint so uh, yes from me stokesy remember don't limit yourself life is way too short nothing but love and respect and uh, i'll see you on the next one peace